Nebulas, probably one of the most beautiful phenomena in our interstellar space. Some nebulas are created by a supernova. Some nebulas actually give life to new stars. These beautiful and gigantic clouds of dust and gas are breathtaking. Fortunately, these magnificent wonders of existence do not remain a secret. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we can enjoy them with our own eyes. You don't want to miss anything about the latest on the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA, and other space updates, right? So subscribe to our channel and like this video. Let's dive in quickly. Number 1. The Crab Nebula The Crab Nebula is a supernova remnant and pulsar wind nebula in the constellation of Taurus. The common name comes from William Parsons, who observed the object in 1842 using a 36-inch telescope and produced a drawing that looked somewhat like a crab. The nebula was discovered by English astronomer John Beavis in 1731, and it corresponds with a bright supernova recorded by Chinese astronomers in 1054. The nebula was the first astronomical object identified that corresponds with an historical supernova explosion. Number 2. The Spirograph Nebula Glowing like a multifaceted jewel, the planetary nebula IC418 lies about 2,000 light-years from Earth in the constellation Lepus. In this picture, the James Webb Telescope reveals some remarkable textures weaving through the nebula. Their origin, however, is still uncertain. Number 3. Revisiting the Veil Nebula this image shows a small section of the Veil Nebula, as it was observed by the JWST. This section of the outer shell of the famous supernova remnant is in a region known as NGC 6960, or, more colloquially, the Witch's Broom Nebula. Number 4. Star Forming Region S106 this image from the James Webb Space Telescope shows SH2-106, or S106 for short. This is a compact star-forming region in the constellation Cygnus, the Swan. A newly formed star called S106IR is shrouded in dust at the center of the image and is responsible for the surrounding gas cloud's hourglass-like shape and the turbulence visible within. Light from glowing hydrogen is colored blue in this image. Number 5. The Crab in Another Light The Crab Nebula, located 6,500 light years from Earth in the constellation of Taurus, the Bull, is the result of a supernova explosion which was observed by Chinese and other astronomers in 1054. At its center is a pulsar a super-dense neutron star spinning once every 33 milliseconds, shooting out rotating lighthouse-like beams of radio waves and visible light. Surrounding the pulsar lies a mix of material. Some of it was originally expelled from the star before it went supernova, and the rest was ejected during the explosion itself. Fast-moving winds of particles fly off from the neutron star, energizing the dust and gas around it. These different layers and intricacies of the nebula can be observed in all of the different wavelengths of light. Number 6. Cassiopeia A A new image taken with the James Webb Space Telescope provides a detailed look of the tattered remains of a supernova explosion known as Cassiopeia A. Cass A. It is the youngest known remnant from a supernova explosion in the Milky Way galaxy. The new JWST image shows the complex and intricate structure of the star's shattered fragments. Number 7. Dust Cloud near the Milky Way galaxy The yearly ritual of spring cleaning clears a house of dust as well as dust bunnies, those pesky dust balls that frolic under beds and behind furniture. 
James Webb Space Telescope has photographed similar dense knots of dust and gas in our Milky Way galaxy. This cosmic dust, however, is not a nuisance. It's a concentration of elements that are responsible for the formation of stars in our galaxy and throughout the universe. These opaque, dark knots of gas and dust are called Bach globules, and they are absorbing light in the center of the nearby emission nebula and star-forming region, NGC 281. The globules are named after astronomer Bart Bach, who proposed their existence in the 1940s. Number 8. The Ghost Head Nebula The Ghost Head Nebula is one of a chain of star-forming regions lying south of the 30 Doradus. The Ghost Head Nebula is one of a chain of star-forming regions lying south of the 30 Doradus Nebula in the large Magellanic Cloud. Two bright regions, the eyes of the ghost, are very hot glowing blobs of hydrogen and oxygen. The bubble in A1 is produced by the hot, intense radiation and powerful stellar wind from a single massive star. A2 has a more complex appearance due to the presence of more dust, and it contains several hidden massive stars. The massive stars must have formed within the last 10,000 years, since their natal gas shrouds are not yet disrupted by the powerful radiation of the newly born stars. Number 9. The Jewel Bug Nebula This image from the James Webb Space Telescope depicts NGC 7027, or the Jewel Bug Nebula. The object has been slowly puffing away its mass in quiet, spherically symmetric, or perhaps spiral patterns for centuries, until recently when it produced a new cloverleaf pattern. New observations of the object have found unprecedented levels of complexity and rapid changes in the jets and gas bubbles blasting off the star at the center of the nebula. Number 10, the Retina Nebula. The James Webb Telescope reveals a rainbow of colors in this dying star called IC4406. Like many other so-called planetary nebulae, IC4406 exhibits a high degree of symmetry. The nebula's left and right halves are nearly mirror images of each other. If we could fly around IC4406 in a spaceship, we would see that the gas and dust form a vast donut of material streaming outward from the dying star. We don't see the donut shape in this photograph because we're viewing IC4406 from the JWST. From this vantage point, we're seeing the side of the donut. Thank you for watching the video. Which picture do you want to have above your bed? Let us know in the comments. If you loved watching this video, press the link and subscribe button to stay notified of the latest updates about the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA, and other space-related news. Have a great day, and I'll see you in our next video.